Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Today, we continue Darkness Falls into Day 7. However, today will not be Horde Day. We're doing Horde every 10 days, so our first Horde will be Episode 5 on Day number 10. I'm super encumbered right now because I gathered everything that I could sell, and we're going to head over to Trader Jen's this morning. But there is some sneaky business going on in here. Get out of here. All right, and I got a peek at a loot bag, didn't I? Yeah, out of the corner of my eye. This must have been dropped by one of the zombies that we were testing out up here. Uh, that kind of reminds me, I need to get another stone hammer. I've been using the claw hammer, but apparently the claw hammer is only for things past concrete. So it would benefit me to use the stone hammer instead. So when we come back here and do some uh, upgrades later, I will craft up a stone hammer. On my way over, I'm just going to grab up some car parts. I do need mechanical parts. I think today, what level am I right now anyway? Level 9. So as soon as I level up, which will be here in like a couple minutes, I should be able to make a forge. You need to be level 5 or level 10 to do that. And that'll be really key because we really need uh, nails and forged iron. That seems to be a bit of a bottleneck right now. There we go. Got a skill point. Aha, and we just leveled up. Nice. Oh, I have three skill points. Oh, boy. <laughs> I meant to look last night and see what I could spend my skill points on, but I forgot. Of course. Get out of here, Bo. Aha. Thank you very much. Hey, a new wrench. So I suppose one of those wrenches can go into the workbench that I'm going to craft a little later today. Hopefully, maybe tomorrow. I guess you don't consume the wrench in the process of using it, but you just put it in there uh, and it just, I don't know, it makes it work better, I guess. We'll see. All right, I'll meet you at Jen's. It's going to take me a while. Dragging all this crap with me. All right, we're in relative safety here at Jen's. Let's have a look at the skill points and see what we want to do here. Going to go one and two living off the loo. And it could do another one. Holy cow. Oh, pack mule. Seven more items without being encumbered. I'm going to do that. They, uh, so from what I've learned, you cannot actually open up the entire backpack without taking at least a, a few points into pack mule. So I guess it's worth it in Darkness Falls. Not typically a pack mule fan. And I'll take another point into Pummel Pete, I guess. I don't really know what I'm doing. Spending uh, skill points efficiently is, is something that comes with experience. And that's something that I just don't have. But I do have an anvil here in this destroyed forge that Jen has, has left for me. And there's some concrete mix over in this one. And I think these are going to be pretty clutch for getting the forge and getting the horde base up and running for a little later on. All right, let's sell so off to, to Jen. All right, I've sold her everything that she's willing to take. So we've got 6,000 dukes right now. Is there anything like really, really nice that I should buy from her? Oh, the tailoring workstation. I feel like I should get that. So tailoring workstation is locked behind workbenches and backpacks are locked behind tailoring benches. And they're relatively easy to make. We could get that done maybe today. In order to get workbenches two and then being able to craft my own tailoring workstation, I need tool crafting level two. So that would just be one point right here, and then I could craft my own tailoring workstation. That would just require like a basic, basic amount of resources, nothing significant there. Okay, so long story short, I'm gonna forego buying the tailoring workstation, and I'm just gonna hang on to the money. And last thing, okay, so teach me to be a better crafter. Now that I have enough money, she will teach me some science-based skills, it looks like. But I'm really interested in a job. I had mistakenly thought yesterday that I had completed the tier one jobs but i have not so uh let's see here do you got something for me to the east some kind of a fast food store that's over where is that looking at the map here yes that's over in the other town we have to go in that direction anyway and i think we'll stop by and we'll mine up some nitrate and some coal so that's our activity for the day oh and at some point i need to get back there and uh let's see if i crouch i can crouch through a one meter gap they say so this right here, I should be able to sneak my ass back here and uh, get into these. Let's do that. Ah, we're in. Money. More money. Way more money. Holy cow. I don't want to mess up Jen's spot here. That would just be rude. So I'll take that stuff back up. 
And, uh, hey, Jen, would you like to buy some money? <laughs> Take it. There we go. A so little bit of profit there. We got zombies outside. I'm just going to ditch uh, some of this basic inventory stuff. And we'll come back for that at the end of the day. All right, let's hit the road. Ah, uh, yes, the whole tires on the ground thing, giving you wheels. Look at all these wheels sitting here. Eventually, I do want to make a vehicle. Hopefully, I need to look into that, actually, because I really have no idea how to do it. People have been telling me that polymer is really important too, so we need to kind of prioritize picking that up wherever we can. Look at that, three wheels, just like that. Okay, this is the spot that I had marked where we should be able to get some coal. So let's work on this for a couple of hours. We need the stone anyway because we need to be able to make cobblestone to get the base upgraded. Feel like that's probably good on coal. How much did we get? A little bit over a thousand. With whatever I have in stone and clay, get that made into cobblestone. And there ought to be a nitrate node right close by, although I am hungry and thirsty, so that's gonna be uh, not good. We could swing by Trader Rex. He probably has some food for us. Though. Oh my god, a bear! On second thought, let's not do uh, any more mining today. Aha! There's some good food in here. Whoa, look at all this stuff. Okay, so these are wild crops. I did take the point. What do, I, do I need to do this barehanded or do I need to do it with a knife? I've heard conflicting reports. So let's uh, test it on the blueberries. I don't want to hit E. If I punch it, I got one. If I knife it, I get one. And if I hit E, I also get one. I thought I had just took a point into farming and I should be getting more than one from wild crops now. I'll look into it in just a minute. Oh, the additional items from crops. That's from crops. Crops meaning things that you plant yourself, not wild things. So I just pick all these up. No big deal, I guess. Wrecked. He's such a nice guy planting all these crops for us. Oh, crap. Airdrop. Where's that going to be? I got a lathe out of one of them. So airdrops are like high, high priority now. Whoa, way over that way. That's not too far away. That's just at the northern edge of town. Let's just put a quick waypoint here that says drop, and we'll swing by there in a little bit. Oh, look at the potatoes. Yeah, whoever was telling me that potatoes are not very important, I, I kind of have to beg to differ because I can make all sorts of stew with potatoes. So I, I do think that they're very important. A, a big portion of these I'm just going to make into seeds and then expand the garden. All right, I feel like I've cleaned him out plenty enough. Whoa. Oh, jeez, Svenja. You you travel quickly. I didn't expect to see you over here. I'll take a quest from you. I didn't even see what that was. We'll do it in a little bit. Enemies at the gate. Get out of here. Holy cow, man. More friggin' zombies. Oh, another black die on some gothic pants. Just put those on. Nice. Oh, boy. All kinds of people in here now. Whoa! Leave me alone! Ah, oh, the loot bags. Holy cow, that's a good helmet. Well, not quite. It's a little bit better than the one we have. I'll switch it over. Alright, let's try and focus for two fucking seconds and see if we can loot this compound. Ah, more zombies! I'm gonna starve to death if I don't find some damn food. Like, literally starve to death. What the hell, man? Why? Line up for me! There we go. Kind of maximize the shotgun pellet spread like that. Arlene, you're not good enough for a shotgun shell. Oh, good stuff. Give me that. Well, what, what do you think's probably better? What do I get out of this? 50 water versus 25, and this is like a third of the price? I guess we'll go with red tea then. I didn't bring the money with me. Shit. Oh, well, that should help a little bit. Here, give me that. Drink it immediately. That helps a little bit. I'll take a job from him. What does he have? Anything out to the west? That's kind of where we're... Oh, no, we've got a clear zombies right here. The motel. Yeah, I guess we could do that. And it's uh, getting later in the day as well. Kind of time flies. Hopefully we can find a repair kit at some... Ooh, a SWAT helmet. Holy cow. 
dramatically better than my football helmet, so we'll be switching that over. Looks a little big on me, but I'll roll with it. All right, we have a couple quests to do. Let's see if we can bang them out before the end of the day. All right, first up is this motel. We'll activate this. Ooh, a working vending machine here too. Who's that? A wandering horde. Well, well, well. There we go. Yeah, what I want to do is I want to take that point into... Was it tool crafting? Yes, tool crafting. Because then I think... Can I get the tailoring workstation? I can. So we'll work maybe on getting that in the next day or two. I, the forged iron is going to take a long time to make. So that might be what holds us back there. And we still got to get the forge crafted and everything else. Yeah, we got a, a lot of stuff to do tonight. What is that? Ink! Damn! That saves me a black die, which is good because I'd rather wear it. All right, we need to kind of blow through here. We don't have a whole lot of time to spare right now. Ooh, ski goggles. Ooh, that gives me more mobility? Oh, well, since I'm not looting right now, I think I'll take that. Zombies out back. Oh, I got a vampire here. Killer! Whoa, buddy. Thomas. Hands to yourself. Oh, it's happening to me now. Crap. Talking shit here. Why? Why? <laughs> There's so many zombies. Ah! Ow! Hide! Reload! Get out of here! Oh boy, Thomas! Here, let's do this properly this time. There we go. Give me that loot. Wow, that is some good loot. Don't need the paper, I, I don't think. I'll take it with me. Brain alcohol. I do actually need that to make Molotovs. I do plan on doing that too. Ah, the rooftop? We can drop down here for some food and the main loot. Nice. Might as well use up the Nux while I've got them. Whoa, man. Give me something edible. Uh, yeah. Yucca juice, I'll take it. Get to what is this? Feel the heat! Increase fire rate for handguns by 20%, reload 30% faster, critical damage, four successive hits in short time causes the last blow to do 100% extra damage. Mod tier three with a barbed wire mod, advanced cooling mesh. What is all of this? Advanced muffled connectors? That is the most interesting ammo pile I've ever seen in my entire life. Well, it said that um, feel the heat would help on a handgun, so I'll put that on my pistol. Barbed wire mod onto the baseball bat. Advanced cooling mesh onto my chest armor. And advanced muffled connectors onto my gloves. Damn, man, making out like a bandit here. And a piece of dynamite. <laughs> we didn't clear the area though. There must be some other section here that I skipped over. Is it down here? Where's all the zombies? Oh, I found some. Well, good. Evening, friends. Whoops. Somebody in this bathroom? Snake! Oh, why? Ah! No, they can sting me. Oh, boy, get out of here. Get the freaking Feel the heat. Ah! Gun's not loaded. Get up! Oh, crap. Ah, okay, we did it. We've cleared the area. I'll take the meat off of them and the venom so that we can make some anti-venom later. And uh, let's take this while we're at it. All right, and if I had to guess, I would say it's about 6 p.m., I think. It's hard to really tell, actually. But the, the crickets are not chirping yet, so I don't think it's 7 p.m. I think that's when that starts, is at 1900. So I think this is a really quick one right here. Hurry, Harry's, we can do that one in a hurry. There might be some food in here. Speaking of food though, let's eat a honey. You know what? Let's eat another one because that'll get the debuff off. 
Another pair of lucky goggles. Ah, crap. Zombies rolling up. Let's take care of them. Oh, need repairs. Crap. Needs to be reloaded. Crap. Oh, just like phantom shotgun rounds, apparently. Another vampire. Ow. Oh, man. My health is actually not looking too good right now. Probably should just take a bandage. I'm tired of dealing with zombies outside. Where do you guys keep coming from? Well, it's not so bad when you leave me some loot, I guess. All right, if I had to guess, I would say this is the, the boss fight. I'm gonna cheese it a little bit, get my ass up here. Ooh, they are glitchy here in Darkness Falls, aren't they? I don't know why that's happening. Hungry again. Give me some cooked food out of this, please. Oh my God, a whole ton of sham. Not too bad though, because I can actually make sham soup, I think. Oh, I'm like super duper encumbered right now though. Oh, steel arrows. Instead of doing some quests for Svenja, let's just kind of work our way home and we will turn in some quests along the way. Uh, shake your hand. What do we got uh, here? Yeah, nothing terribly important here. I'll just take... I could take the foregrip mod and slap that on the AK. I think I will. We'll get a job for tomorrow. I've got just the job. The diner. Boy, Good deal. Good I'm just gonna lighten the inventory before we go home. All right, for the trip home, we'll put the ski goggles on. Give us some more mobility. See what so, Jen's got for me. Well, that didn't take long. In this case, I'll take the baseball bat. She's gonna send me out to the east as well. House old bungalow. All right, we'll work on that later. And nice, I got a skill point. We'll grab up the rest of our junk and head back to the base. All right, it's home sweet home. It is still daylight, but I'm gonna get the inventory sorted because there are a ton of zombies outside upstairs and we're gonna have to deal with that. All right, I got the Nux repaired, so let's go fight. Hope we can get this done before nightfall. Right. <laughs> it is nightfall now. The area looks clear. There's a couple over there by the farm, but let's call it a night. All right, my friends, shit is getting real topside. There are a whole bunch of zombies aggroed onto me. I thought I was gonna be clever and uh, wrench down some lights for electrical parts, but no, sir. So let's get out of here and see if we can kill these guys. All right. If you can hear this gunshot, come one, come all. Step right up. All right, there's only a couple left. I think I could probably take them. Worst case scenario, whoa, scrap iron clubs. Worst case scenario, we just break out the guns. So, where are you all, anyway? Did you guys go down inside my base? No! That's bad! Get out of here! It's an interesting way to have a fight right here. Whatever works, though. Alright. Yeah, ideally, if they could, uh, if they had a path to come right up to here, we could just kind of quietly fight them from inside the base. Alright, anyway, uh, let's get some rest and we'll pick things up a little bit later on. It's still late. All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And there is a wandering horde right over our head right now. I don't know how many, I would say at least five stopped right in the graveyard right above us. I've just been kind of huddled over here in the corner with the lights out, hoping that they would pass on by, but uh, I think we're gonna have to go topside and fight them real quick. Uh, looks like we're good on health, stamina, food, and water. So let's just roll up here and see what we got waiting for us. Yep, we got four outside and then Bo is trapped inside. No matter. All right, I think that's it. 
All right, well, I'm excited to show you what happened last night. We're gonna have to forge for some leather today so that we can get a couple new things crafted, but right here, I've got the tailoring workstation. Let's go ahead and put that right over here. And I need to get leather so that we can now make the backpack, the medium backpack. We need to get a whole bunch of leather and, uh, oh, we need to put a sewing kit. Oh, a tanning rack. I uh, Don't I have one of those? Well, shit, I did at one point. I, I'm not sure where I left it, though. Yeah, I probably accidentally sold it, but I do have a sewing kit that I can put here into this sewing station. Apparently, I can make beef jerky. But yeah, more on that later, I guess. And I now have enough to create my own workbench as well. So we'll work on that once we're done with the cobblestone and the frames and stuff. So for this morning, since I've got the stone hammer and the cobble, I want to head over to the horde base and get things upgraded. Whoop, got a loot bag here from the fight last night. Nice, some breakfast. And I think what I want to start off with is, yeah, we're going to have to get this stuff upgraded. So I, I should be able to just one shot upgrade these. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so much faster. But let's hit it. All right, and that should probably do it for now in terms of cobblestone. We now need to get this all framed out so we don't fall through the floor. Okay, we're off to a good start. The next thing we need to work on is the pit. And I think I have a special way that we can do that. Another black die. Ah, yes. Another, is this, are these wandering hordes or these just regular zombies? With that, the special method to clear out the trench that I was talking about, or the, the pit, I should say, is this right here. Hopefully I don't regret this too much. Hey, actually, that was perfect. Okay, interestingly, I'm getting a little bit of a glitch here, and it's allowing me to see the ceiling of, like, the underground catacomb thing that's underneath us. I think I want to dig down to that rooftop and then use the roof of the catacomb as the floor to the pit. So yeah, right there. Kind of like that. Okay, so it looks like the trench is, or the, not the trench, the pit here is going to be probably four blocks tall. And I've yet to kind of plan out how exactly this is going to work, but we'll get there. I do just want to poke a hole through the ceiling here and see what's beneath. Is there another layer of blocks or no, that's just the, the area down below. All right, seal that back up. This is now the floor. Okay, so my idea is that they fall off of that. They fall down into here and then they have to Mm, probably jump their way out somehow, but I like to make it nice and difficult for them to do that so that they kind of aggregate in here a little bit. And the best way I've found so far to do this is to just make like a little jumping pathway for them. Just like that. So only one zombie at a time can jump their way out and they should bottleneck down there really good, giving us time to throw grenades down at them through the chute or nail bombs or whatever the hell else I can find to throw at him. And that's it for the cobble, for now at least. We'll po probably make some more at some point. In fact, I can make a whole bunch of it right now. So while we're waiting on that, I'll just get things cleared out up here. All right, time for some just final upgrades down here. 
Now, surely there is going to be some severe damage taken to this little area right here, but that's fine. There's no structural integrity to this stuff. There's no load bearing blocks. This is just sacrificial. They can beat the shit out of this all night long for all I care. There we go. That should do it right there. Now, probably tomorrow before the horde, I'll do some targeted concrete upgrades and that'll be it. He's freaking gut piles, making a mess everywhere. Hey, let's check on the chickens. Looks like they're ready. Nice. However, I don't have any uh, seed with me, but we'll uh, we'll reseed that eventually. So let's check on the garden while we're right out here. Oh, everything's ready. Okay, cannabis grown corn plants are good. Some of them are still growing. Okay, so we'll have to be careful here, but let's test it out. Let's see what we get with a knife. Three. Okay, so harvesting with a knife is okay. Harvesting with a hand. How does this work? Same. I'll, I'll go with the hand then. The yucca is taking a while. We've got a corn there. Everything else is growing. Okay, we're good. Let's actually take a moment down here and get the new workbench set up. So that way we don't have to go all the way to gens to craft and get our stuff repaired. I'll just put my hammer in there for now, although I don't exactly know what that's doing. Whatever, must be doing something. All right, everything seems to be put away. So some of the things that we're looking out for today are animals so that we can get leather. And yeah, I think that was uh, pretty much it for now. Wouldn't mind getting some like forged iron. In fact, is this still crafting out forged iron? Yes, oh, we have plenty of forged iron now, good. Okay, more on that stuff later. Getting a little bit of cabin fever here. All right, let's go do these uh, couple quests for Svenja. We'll do some nitrate mining. We'll go do these tier twos out in town and we'll see how much time we have left after that. On second thought, we gotta eat first. All right, we're good now. Aha, we've got a wolf pack over there. Well, we need the leather and we need the meat. Oh, one shot kill, nice. Good deal. Gonna have to risk the uh, temperature drop getting wet to get over here. It'll be worth it. Ah, that should be enough leather to get the backpack too, nice. All right, let's kill whoever this is, the nurses. And a skill point to top things off. Ooh, and a much nicer machete, cool. Speaking of those skill points, I hate to spend them here on the fly, but I feel like I'm going to forget if I don't. Iron gut would probably be nice so that we're not using as much food. I'll take one more into living off the land, and I'll take my first point into get off my land. Ideally, we want to get some points into shotguns before the horde. All right, time for the bungalow house. Let's do it. Got a sneaky munitions box here. Never know what you're gonna pull out of this. Oh my goodness, a whole bunch of parts. Whoa, Cole, get the hell out of here. Whoa, get wrecked. Oh, I heard a loot bag out here. Who's got a present for me? Nice. That's it for the quest. Pistol schematic and scrap iron armor schematic. I will read... I don't really need either of those, I don't think. So just scrap them both. Whatever. Aha! That's what I was looking for. 514 bucks, I'll take it. Get out of here. Plenty of time to do the next one. Where are we going? We're going over here to the cafe. Sweet car here. Damaged muscle car. Wouldn't mind crafting a muscle car at some point. Another wrench. That'll be good for the workbench, I guess. All right, wasn't this the spot? Yep, right here. Let's hit it. I need to get a bow. Do a little bit more sneak damage in situations like this. Seven hundred and six bucks. Wow. 
key box, although reportedly they don't really work in Darkness Falls because they have the whole like randomized door thing. Ooh, bag of dried fruit. Uh, is that is that used in a recipe? It is. Oh, I can make a bag of trail mix with some peanuts. Okay, well, I'll hang on to it then. Still got some zombies in here somewhere. Where are they? Super corn. Ooh. All right, who's waiting for me up here? Ooh, I heard some gurgling. It's pizza. Two, two of them. Oh, geez. Pizza party here. Damn. One shot kill on the first one, and this one's gonna take me all friggin' day. There we go. Wow, a couple bellows, another anvil. That leather hood, that would be a huge downgrade from the SWAT helmet. So I'm just gonna stick with the SWAT helmet for now. Okay, we're very, very encumbered. We can stop by Wrecked over here and turn in a couple of these quests, get a couple more. Then we'll probably head south and do the other quest for the other Svenja and then head home after that. Maybe get some nitrate along the way. That would be nice too. We can get some gunpowder crafted over at that chem station we found. And that'll be helpful for making nail bombs, pipe bombs, things like that. All right, what do you got? Well, he's got a level 24 wrench, quite a bit better than the one I have, so I think I'll take that. We'll get another job from him. Why is... Oh, he's got the tier 2s now. That's interesting. I've only done a couple jobs for him, but he's already given me tier 2s. Well, I'll Let's take the back. tier 2 to the east, you Motel 1. Okay, I know that place. Good. It is 6 p.m., so we had a couple hours left of daylight. Let's just see if maybe I can lighten the load here a little bit. That's gonna have to do it. Let's see what Svenja has for us. How may I serve you? Nothing great. I think I'll, in fact, just take the nine mil ammo from her. And uh, I'll get another, can I'll get a lady you? killer from her. Kill some female zombies, okay. And looking at the map there, that's gonna bring us right home. We'll do starving tourists, lady killer, and then head straight home. Hey, a survivor! I got you, man! Get her! You're not helping. Here, you work on her, and I'll spawn some more zombies for us. You'll help me out, right? All right, you get the northwestern flank, and I'll get the rest. Here, Junkie, you get the southwestern flank, and I'll take the northeast. Oh boy, Survivor over here is getting fucked up. Oh, no! Is he knocked out, or is he dead? I think he's dead. We failed! You bastards! Oh, fuck. Cheerleaders. Why are there so many cheerleaders? Oh, brutal. All right, I'm super encumbered. Encumbered by 29. Hopefully that won't be so much of an issue once we get the backpack crafted later on tonight. We have one more job for today, and that's whatever this is. The lady killer. Holy cow. Uh, I'm too encumbered for this. Here, help. Ah, just get the good guns. Holy cow, so many people. There we go. We're not killing that lady. All right, it's back home to get our rewards and then call it a day after that. Maybe do some farming tonight. Another wolf there, got him. Jeez, you'd think we'd maybe find some deer, but maybe all the wolves are killing them. All right, Jen, what do you got for me today? Good work. Another pistol? I mean, of all the options, I, I feel like that's the better one. Take another job from her. She's giving me the tier twos now. I guess I don't get a bundle reward for the end of tier two quests, which is kind of lame. I've been kind of accustomed to getting those now. I want to go west, though. Let's uh, oh, look at this, this one. Best way to get House these. Modern 8. Sure. Take care of these guys before they become an issue. Svenja, what, what do you, you got for? for me? I feel like I've been very disappointed in the rewards lately, and this time is no different. General, no, I'll take the shotgun shells, because I don't even quite have 150 of those. Ooh. Ooh, she's giving me restore power quests? And some man-eater quests, Can and I it just you? ticked nightfall, so we'll have to be careful on the way home. Don't think I'm quite ready for a restore power quest. <laughs> Ow. Oh, it's a feral. That's why she's so strong. Damn. Okay. 
All right, home sweet home. Let's get organized here. Oh, I just noticed. I got my first pair of steel knucks. Yes. So I'm wondering if I combine these pistols, I could get a level 26. Uh, I don't want to do that, and I, I'd have to take the mods off first. I think I'll just wait, and I'll use the level 20 to fix the level 26 eventually when we get to that stage. Wow, repair kits actually take a lot of resources to make. That's a bummer. I was just going to see if I could repair my baseball bat and what level that's going to come out as. 18. Eh, that's five points we lost. I could... Then see real quick though, what do I get if I combine these? I'd only get a level 24. Yeah, oh man, I don't know. Gotta try to learn how to optimize upgrading. All right, well I can finally get my medium backpack crafted. It looks like I can get a, a writing desk crafted as well. I think this is a nice little spot right here for the writing desk. And see how this all works. Okay. Oh wow, you can craft Skill notes? Oh, man. You need so much ink, though. Oh, gee. I thought you only needed the ink to make the blank class paper. Yeah, we're, we're quite a ways off from that, but at least now I've uh, got the ball rolling. Yeah, I got 69 skill notes, so we're halfway there. And there's the backpack. Let's, uh, let's see. How does this work? We have to use it. It's not like a wearable item. And then if I reset... Oh, the inventory is so open now. Yes, yes, nice. All right, so I think I'm gonna spend my time tonight digging some more for the garden and getting some seeds crafted so we can expand that. Then tomorrow we'll probably do a couple of quests and then we'll get final preparations made for the day 10 horde. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it an episode. But I'll be back again soon for the next one. I hope that you'll join me again. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching my back out there and good night. While you're waiting for the next episode, check out the links below for more content, ways to support the channel, and ways to become a true nerd of steel. You can catch me on the Discord, Twitter, at the weekly live stream, or in the comment section down below. Huge thank you to all of my supporters who have made this channel what it is today. My name is Temriki, and I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I'll see you in the next one.